Welcome to Chief Sox Will Blow Us Because Anything Goes. My name is Norm Bethencourt, the creator of Taxable Self-Defense. This DVD is going to teach you how to have the element of surprise behind you in your attack so your enemy that's across from you doesn't even know what's about to happen. This puts momentum on your side, drives the enemy into a defensive state, so all he's doing is focusing on blocking that attack that's coming his way, and you are now taking charge, you have momentum, and you take charge of that fight and control that fight and are able to get away without the enemy even knowing what the heck hit him. So these are all different tricks that I learned along the way from street fighters, military personnel, and from ex-convicts. These are all the cheap shots, low blows, because anything goes on the street fight. Let's get started. Let's go with the element of surprise. The element of surprise is you never want to let your enemy know what's about to happen. Remember, body language represents the message that you're trying to send out more than what you're actually saying. All right? And what I mean by that is this. If you're telling a guy it's calm, or you say, hey man, I'm calm, but meanwhile you're making a fist, that body language is saying more. Okay? It's not what you say, but how you say it or how someone says something with the way they're presenting with their body language. So if there's an altercation that's about to occur, the last thing you want to be doing is this, putting up your juice and telling the guy, I'm ready to go with you. You want to have that element of surprise. So you want to be submissive. But meanwhile, you're triggering your killer instinct, and you're going to make that first move. You're going to take charge. So be, by being submissive, you know, the best thing to do is having your hands up in a submissive uh, uh, um, in a submissive manner, right? Or having your hands together. Or by talking with your hands. Because if you're talking with your hands and the enemy's across from you, I'm saying, hey buddy, I don't want to fool. I can do that eye gouge. Alright? Or, hey man, you know, I don't want to I throw that punch right to that throat. Once again, what I'm saying is submissive. I'm playing pussy. I'm playing possum. But meanwhile, in the back of my mind is, I'm going to make that first move. And after I make that first move, I continue my attack. I just don't stop there. I put, keep that momentum on my side. I keep going and going and going. Another way that you can go and have that element of surprise is by asking people questions. What happens is when you ask a question, your brain instinctively and immediately begins thinking about the answer to that question. Okay? It disassociates from the current um, things that are going on. Okay, so if you've got a guy who's aggressive with you and you say, hey buddy, I don't want to scrap him out. You want to go for a drink? Okay, what's going to happen is that your enemy is automatically going to begin thinking about the answer to that question. And when he does, this is called the break stage, when he does, he's disassociating himself with what's going on in that present moment, that's when you put in your first move. That's when you, you know, do that specialized sucker punch that you have or whatever movement that you have. It could be a kick to the shin, which I'll get into later on, but it's that element of surprise. Once again, criminals do this all the time, you know, when they go mug someone. They'll ask the person, hey man, you got the time? And what will happen is that person will stop, they'll look at the watch, and bam, the criminal's there with his partner behind him, and they take charge. Momentum is now on their side. You don't know what, what's going on until after the fact. And that's what you want to do when you're standing across from the enemy. So the guy's barking at you and he's yelling at you. He tells you he wants to rip your freaking hand off. Hey, buddy, you know, that passiveness, I don't want any problems. All right, man? Hey, you want to go for a drink? And then when you, you start thinking within that millisecond about the answer, boom, you move in. You take charge of that situation and put momentum on your side. And you keep attacking. 